Scaria. This ancient land has suffered 30 long years under Akadullah's brutal dictatorship. The opposition parties, progressives, intellectuals, and anyone who dared oppose him, all eventually yielded to his iron will. Everyone assumed that there would be no end to Akadullah's rule. However, as his oppression grew stronger and as countless demonstrations were violently quelled, the enthusiasm for a Scarian revolution deepened. Until one day, when an uprising exploded like wildfire. The revolutionaries have made their camp in eastern Scaria, the country's poorest region. Inspired by the revolutionaries, commoners, long oppressed, have taken up arms against Akadola. While they are disorganized, lack supplies, and are fighting with farm tools, kitchen knives, and relics of previous wars, they are convicted in their hopes for a better future. Despite countless setbacks, the revolutionaries have secured a front line. Akadola commands his army from his palace, a shining jewel situated deep in the wealthy western province. Thousands of his troops, supporters, and mercenaries recruited from allied nations around the world stand guard in his palace. They are well equipped and well trained. With these advantages, Akadola commands an endless onslaught against the revolutionaries. Perpetual war ravages Scaria, with no end in sight for this power struggle. Yet, on this day, an airplane makes its way through the skies of Scaria. Its destination? The revolutionary's eastern encampment. Navigating no-fly zones is a difficult task, and the pilot was forced to land along the western border, deep within the Scarian army's territory. A young college student stepped off the plane, full of determination to help overthrow Akadullah's regime. She, however, never expected to find herself in such a dilemma. No one could have ever imagined that the fate of Scaria and countless lives would rest upon this young woman's shoulders.
Mm-hmm. 